Hey there! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of electronics. Today, we're going to take a closer look at some of the coolest and most essential modules for Arduino. Alright, let's kick things off with one of my personal favorites, the awesome OLED display. This tiny module is an incredible tool for showcasing data in a compact and visually stunning way. An OLED display has a lot of connections, but this module is surprisingly easy to work with, even for beginners. All you need is a few lines of code, four pins and voila, your data comes to life. Next up, the temperature and humidity sensor, the DHT11 module. It can sense the ambient temperature and humidity fairly accurately. You can get the reading in the serial console or a display. This can make a cool and tiny weather station. Next up, we have the IR receiver module. This little LED allows your Arduino to receive and decode various infrared signals, making it perfect for controlling your projects using a remote. With one of these and an IR remote, the possibilities are endless. Using the example code from the library, you can decode any IR remote and get the values in the serial monitor. After, you can use these values and wirelessly control all your Arduino projects. Very useful. Next up, the ultrasonic distance sensor module. This bad boy uses ultrasonic waves to measure distances accurately. This module has got the good range and precision. Commonly used in object avoiding cars or robots, this module is useful in many ways. We can get the distance measured in the serial monitor or using our handy OLED display. Look how accurate the reading is. Next up, the LDR module. This humble module can measure the intensity of light in your surroundings. Whether you want to create a responsive lighting system or a smart energy saving solution, this module is your go-to option. It has both analog and digital outputs. The built-in potentiometer controls the threshold for the digital output. The analog output gives you the varying value of light, which can be measured using the serial monitor or display. The digital output gives a on or off value depending on the set threshold. Here we wire the digital out directly to an LED and control it. Next up, the rotary encoder. It's a type of position sensor that converts the rotation of a knob into an output signal that can be used to determine the direction and amount of rotation. These modules also have a switch. All this makes it a great candidate for projects such as volume knobs or speed control. I usually pair these off with a big knob like this for aesthetics. Let's use the next module to demonstrate the use of the rotary encoder. The stepper motor module. They provide precise and controlled movements. Whether you're building a robotic arm or a CNC machine, this module packs enough torque and precision to bring your creations to life. Look at those smooth and calculated movements. The stepper motor module takes your project to the next level, allowing for precise control and automation. And now we combine both the modules to make this setup. It showcases their precise input and output respectively. An honorable mention goes to the ESP01 module. For some reason, if you want to use an Arduino Uno instead of an ESP8266, this little module helps you add Wi-Fi to your project. But, like all other ESP boards, it operates on 3.3 volts. You can either make a simple board like this to convert the signals from the Arduino or these converter modules are also readily available to buy online. All the product and library links are in the description. If you need any help with code or libraries, leave a comment. Like and subscribe for more content like this.